many politicians are completely cut off from the realities of public schools. I think it's all very upsetting. I'm hoping that the dialogue will change, of that we just need more kids in school together with other kids. Please welcome the multiversal, the incendiary parent, ooh, 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 and the notorious potty mouth, Sandra Sinclair. <laughs> This is a very classy event. No very potty event. mouthing, no, potty no mouth. obscenity. Okay, no salty language. language is the tattletale of bad breeding. Remember oh, that? honey! Because I will they know not already. tolerate okay. that fucking bullshit. Here, okay. okay? <laughs> you cursed on the cover. You know, uh, they they picked that uh, of many subtitles. We wanted to do a, a motherhood. Is any mothers here today? Do you dare? Do you what? dare? But uh, rock and roll. But you know how when moms show up at a wine and where it says like a, ah! oh my God, look at you go. So moms, when they get out of the house, it's fantastic. <laughs> There's that whole, you know, what to expect when expecting, like, the kind of like the whole Paisley gingham situation. And I think we were just going to kick out because motherhood is very, may I forge forward for a moment? I'm okay. <laughs> sure. It's raw. It's scary. Mothers are frightening in a really good and epic and it's your deepest, darkest nightmare in a fun way, though. And I think that's why we kind of put that on the cover. I will. I want to defend the men for a second because we're not what? all. What? <laughs> no. I think, because... why, you know, forget it. Hold up on, on, the on a second. You can take it. Be a man. We're going to. OK, what? OK, go no, ahead. No, I, ha I have a five-year-old daughter. Oh. And I've had this burning sensation that you talk about, and I thought it was chlamydia. Oh. But, <laughs> but apparently it's parenting, and it is it is reaching that oh, that scary, awful time when you have to send your little one off to school. When I when I experienced that in Los Angeles, it's like okay, I cannot afford twenty two thousand a year for the beautiful progressive public school that all the good Democrats send their kids to, where diversity is fourteen kids and. Savian Glover. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the beautiful black child with the dread who's like the yo-yo macello and the chaffing and he's beautiful and he's brilliant. Uh, no minority children who are poorly behaved are allowed. Can we talk about feminism? Can we go there? I would love to. Okay, <laughs> I think the women's movement, and I'll finish this thought and go back to your question. Oh, right, you right. But I think that... I'm gonna reread some passages. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I have one more paragraph <laughs> before I get back to you. When my generation of women went to college, it had gone from our bodies ourselves into, as people like, uh, our contribution was anorexia. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, that was ours. That was Today, an average weekday edition of the New York Times contains more information than the average 17th century British villager came across in his entire life. Why are we holding up the 17th century British villager as Because it's fun, because it feels kind of fun. Uh, There's a toothless surf at that point. What, 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 what does that tell me? Oh, that's kind of sweet though, doesn't <laughs> it? Like, we feel we should be able to do everything all the time. You know, if we could just say, you know, I'm a toothless surf. <laughs> and my children are the children of toothless surfs. They're not gifted. Well, that would be a relief. That would be a relief.